Welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from Nethly on Wigs. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. When I opened up my package, of course I received my wig, but I also received a wig cap, an adjustable elastic band, two hair clips, a pair of eyelashes, and a baby hair brush comb duo. The wig that I'll be working with today is a 13 by 6 kinky curly lace front wig, 16 inches, 150% density. It does have baby hair and the hairline is pre-plucked for you. I can say that this hairline looks so good straight out of the package. It looks like I don't really have to do much to it, but of course... Of course, I am going to pluck a little bit more from the hairline. However, straight out of the package, I feel like this wig is perfect for beginners because of how natural the hairline looks already and the fact that it has really small knots, which means that this is going to give us the most natural install ever. So the first thing that I'm going to do to this wig is pluck a little bit more hairs from the hairline. I do notice that there is a lot of baby hairs on this wig. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a bang or if these are baby hairs, but I am going to try to pluck away some of those so that it's just not so apparent. To pluck away some of that extra density from the hairline, I'll be doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting. Of course, if you've been following my channel, you are a pro at this step, so I am gonna breeze past it. So now that I'm fully satisfied with the hairline, it's time for me to style this wig. So the first thing that I'll be doing is wetting the entire wig because I feel like this texture is easier to work on when the hair is already kind of soaking wet. After the hair has been submerged in water, I will be sectioning off the hair. I'll be grabbing my detangling comb and fully detangling each section. I do have a spray bottle of water that you will see me spraying on each section periodically because the hair does dry pretty quickly. After I detangle each section, I'll be grabbing a curl defining gel, applying it to the section, and then I'm grabbing a Denman brush to further define the curls. I'll be repeating all of those steps for the entire head and I'll come back in a second. that I'll be doing is grabbing two different colors of lace tints and tinting the lace. I'll be grabbing the lace tint that is labeled skin and I'll be spraying that around the hairline which is going to be closest to my skin and that's going to be the same color as my foundation which is darker than the one that is labeled scalp which is lighter than my skin tone and I'll be spraying that on the inner portion of the frontal and that is going to mimic my scalp color. So I'll be doing two layers of the lace tints and in between each layer I'll be blow drying it. Okay, on to the fun part. It's time to install this wig. 
The first thing that I'll be doing is cleaning my forehead off with alcohol. The next thing that I'm going to grab is Scalp Protector by Walker Tape, and I will be applying that to my hairline. Next, I'll be grabbing the wig and trying it on my head, making sure that all of the combs are lined up and in their proper placement. Grabbing a pair of scissors, I will be doing two slices within the extra lace on the frontal, and that is going to create three different sections. Wigs are always easier to work with when you're installing them if you do them in sections. That's the reason why I cut it into three sections. Working with the middle section first, I'm going to pin back the left and right portions of this frontal wig. Grabbing got to be ultra glue gel in the black tube, I will be applying a very thin layer on my hairline and then grabbing my blow dryer just to make sure that it is tacky. Grabbing the extra lace on the frontal, I'll be pressing that into the tacky got to be gel. Using the back end of a rat tail comb, I will be pressing that lace into the gel just to make sure that it is setting. I'll follow those same steps for the left and right portions of the frontal and then I'll put my headscarf on and I will wait for it to set and then I'll come back, grab a pair of scissors and then cut off the extra lace. Here's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to check down below in the description box. I'll have all of the information, promo codes, and direct links to this wig from Nefleon Wigs down below. So check it out before you leave and give this video a huge thumbs up if you found it helpful. Comment down below if you will be trying this wig. How do you think this wig turned out? and which hairstyles would be cute to try with this wig. I am obsessed with the texture. It looks so spot on like my hair and the fact that it does have different textures within this wig makes it look so much more natural. And again, I thank you for choosing my video and watching it. I hope you learned something new and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Right.